Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs of this game. And at this moment, we are about to be seeing this next part of the game. You've already been watching the NBA Playoffs? That's great! Because right now, this is the only game that we have here for Wednesday night's game, if you already watched it before. But this is the section where we are seeing in between right in the zone. This is it. A win or go home for the Minnesota Wilds. Avalanche has only won three games in a row. We're trying to find out who will take another win to put it in the inbounding. There may not be another solution if there is another way to get this thing right on. So, we'll see how this one goes. And you'll find out who will get a next goal to win it all and head into the Western Conference Finals to face against the Seattle Kraken. Well, it might be a very tough option, but you'll see. And now, for the commentators I will have here is me phone, along with OJ. And finally, the center ice will be the next one to be determined. It will be fan. I'll be back with the post-game show, and I'll see you all later after this game's over. Let's get it on, team. Enjoy your Wednesday night's game of the Wilds and Avalanche. Let's bring it on. Hello everyone, it's OJ, along with me, Bone and Fan. This is NHL on EA Sports, coverage of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Wednesday night game of Game 5, happening in Minnesota, St. Paul. Puck is dropped and we are all set, ready to go. The courtesy lineup of being here as follows, we have is Nathan McKinnon. On the other side we have is Hartman. And it's Kaprizov right towards the corner of the wall. Then right back for the outside, we have Spurgeon. And it's Middleton right toward inbounding. And finally, for the other side of it, we have we have Zuccarello. The starting goaltender for the Wilds will be Gustafsson. For Gustafsson, and now here is Kaprizov. Kaprizov. The fast wheels is putting up a lot of offense move to put up on a transition from the side. He knows when he goes, but when he gets it off into the offensive side, he wants to make that one happen. On the other hand, for Nathan McKinnon, he really makes up with a good save, putting up a lot of angle breakings in the run. This ultimate offense is putting up a lot of the hard ones to put over in each anybody's game. This moment is putting up a lot of the hard ones to be out there. If he gets an angle breaking, he can make a move and attack right around the goaltender. I'll be watching the two in between of McKinnon and Kaprizov. Back to you guys. You know what I'm thinking? I've always seen that Gio Alex Georgiev has already been playing with one of the one of us in the Rangers the last time in the season. But I know that he's already been turning out very that hard. But this moment, Lee, they can definitely say that this was a tough one to be on it. Be at least for last here if they really want to. Yeah, pretty much sure. On the other side we have is McKinnon. As the Conan right towards it. The Jushkin right towards the corner. On the other side of it, you know. Then right here we have his toes. And finally, we have his Campbell Carr. The starting goaltender will be Alexander Georgiev. Now on the other side of it right now, we have seen one of them that they were playing. They won the last game in the double overtime winner back in Colorado. Minnesota has finally made an answer. They definitely have made that with a cup the shot to go right towards the inbounding. And they are really that tough. Sometimes, they never really want to get over into the offense that time. If they do, well, they're going to get a little bit of sleeve off on that point. They don't want anybody to get hurt or anybody injured. If they do, well, we're going to have to like give them a little uh, medical medical locker room and find out what already had happened. Because we'll never know what will we'll, what we'll be, and it's going to be a very tough one that every woman's going to keep an eye on. So, it's going to be very up close. So not really the, the most saying the people who are going to think about it, but they're really that tough. Here on the other side right now, we have Mr. Chushkin. Back to Broden. Dumba will have it across here. Now on the other side of it now. Here's another pass, and it's stopped me. 
Following up on the right side of the wing, we have another one to take over for the inbounding. And it goes with that out of reach. Sungus got the puck here right across the offense zone. Fires around the net. Nilo right over again to Johnson. Now passes to Rantanen. Colorado on the attack. Got the rest of a little room. Goes to Sam, makes a big save. Addison will cover up here in the corner of the wall. Minnesota onto the offense zone to pick up the run. Nyquist fires it. Up and right through the glass over to Ron the wall. Trying to make a pass over to Rantanen. In the attacking zone, fires one. Gossips just stopped made with the save. That drafting was definitely very that quick. It really is showing you what they can do. We haven't hit the big wave mark in this period. Still scoreless in the game in the first period. Johnson will take it over. Wonderful pad save here by Gustafson. Armin over to Zuccarello. Here are the attackers, Zuccarello to Capri's off. Back in shot. Stop again by Alexander Giorgio. Now he moves it over to O'Connor. Finding an ever range of this open man offense. Got a long puck. Addison has one right towards outside. O'Connor right toward the inside of the net. Here's Klimberg. And back to Kaprizov. Kaprizov right toward the inside of the zone. That puck is lost up. And a save be by Georgia. Putting another great save in the wild run, and he will have some time to get restarted and get ready for the offense. Now, they're not really are saying that. They really are tough to, to know it. But they may not be tuning it too much at that point, because you know this offense is putting a lot, very that hard, and everyone else has been understanding it. But at this moment and often, they really are saying that this is the very toughest team. But all they say now, they've got a lot of it that they're not calling for help. The puck went wide off the range of a shot. Now with the rebounding. But they have another run. And with that one being got slide up for Cross here. And Middleton. Back to Reeves. On the first break. Trying to watch it from the back. He fires it around the net in the middle of Soto zone. The Wild will regain the offense zone to pick up their steam. And the Ryan putting up another on the offense run to pick up this shift right down the angle. What a big save by Gustafson. Bulging across again to Spurgeon. Back to Middleton. Over to Gutero. Gutero's puck. Off the on the fending board. Middleton will have it across here right towards the left zone. Spurgeon to Gutero. Try to make a run and make an easy play. The offense is getting a lot that harder when you know it. And toes, lost the puck. The car, Milton, right across to the battle line of Lowe's puck. Trying to make up the inbounding. Fires one, off the net and it went too wide. That slap shot is very picking up the hard pace. You can't just let it go. This offense is pretty, getting a lot that terrifying in the end of runs. They just really can't help it, and they couldn't find it themselves to get it out over it. Jurgen is going to hold that smidge with the puck. We're down, just passing the mid period. Getting ready for another face off as the Gladiators move into the offensive wing for a puck drop. Wild will win the face off. Klingberg in! That's broken up. That's stopped by Georgia. They're on the other side right now, and they are making their way over. Back to Klingberg. Making another, uh, making another attacker, putting up the Felegna to Addison. Addison, rolling over right towards the offense. And now it's Comfort. Brandon's got the puck, now in the offense zone to make the attack. Marzino, Brandon shot! Gustafson, big stop save! That's very legit. Gustafson already oh, have been putting up in uh, tonight's game. Just showing off like he did. They never noticed how they were going to get that one done right through it. 
They were really that tough. Here's another offense on his own. And a big stop by Gustafson. Moving it around the full window. 6.30 to go in the first period. Finds Hartman. Hartman around it. And Jorgen picks up a big save. Just about 6.22 to go. Still no score this game. We are in closer to the mark of the end of the first period. Still no scoreless. Still scoreless in the game. Now with another round, offensive run to pick up a move. Here's another one. Oh, getting a little bit, a little swampy. Trying to move it around there quickly. Moving it around the airway. Trying to pick up a big stop. Dumba across the Zuccarello. Now again, Caprizov. Caprizov right in it. A big stop by Alexander Jurgen. O'Connor right towards the right wing in the offense zone. Picks up with a shot. Good pass save here by Gustafsson. Roden right in, in the front of it. Moving around back to Dumba. Over to Caprizov. Up a long way. Fires it! Glove saved by Jorgen. That puts up a wild quick run of a hustle. Because of this inbound, he was turning a very that close. And the toughness, however, they are just pulling it right away. And that shot can be very difficult to try to get it that far. The war right over right into the wing. They wear the Broden. Back to Dewar. Here's another range for O'Connor. With the fire pass. That's stopped again by the goaltender. Right in front. Bad timing and back over again to Johnson to pick up another run. Gustafsson got it that time. Without putting up a deflection, goal in. Fires it around the net. And Minnesota will have their offense back. Milton! That shot went over the crossbar and then right toward the glass, right toward the board. They were just firing on very hard. This offense may not be picking it up another shift. They really have to do this again. Go from the top and from bottom. A stop save here by Georgiev. Shaw tried to go with the backhand. And the defender was on him. McKinnon tried to go up with it again. The attacker back to Hunt. Hunt tried to race it over to Johnson. Over in the wing. Move around inside. Remove it. Save me by Gustafson. Spurgeon carry it over to Nyquist over to Goderu. Goderus right with the puck in his own Reeves. Fires it save. Johnson right toward the outside. Back to Comper. Comper moving in front of the middle. With the fire release. Comes save and Gustafson's going to hold the puck with only a minute and nine to go in the first period. These tough guys are very to offense because you can't just really give over us and go with the offense right in their, in their run. They're very tough. Nobody got that one a goal, but this one may be turning out very hard when they expect it. Last minute to go in the first period, as right now no score has been played yet in that first period. They gotta get someone out there and stop with the gun saved by Jurgen. Cover right back over again to Gerard. Right to Byron. Byron moving across into the neutral zone to the offense zone. Goes to the corner! Nino shot! Blocked it away! Spurgeon! Moving it over, but again in live quest. To Nino! Comfort to beat it! And good stop by Gustafson! That ends the first period! A lot of having a moment out there, but we'll be right back with the second period after this. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of EA Sports. Hey folks, welcome back to the Stanley Cup Playoffs of EA Sports. We're about to get started for the second period. Along with me and me phone, as we're about to get this thing back on the way here for the second period. For the start of it, let's have some of my broadcasting partner of me phone standing by. They're always tough enough to make the offense that struggle. But I can definitely tell you that this was a very tough team. As you notice, the Wilds have never won it before in three games. 
Right now, they've already been facing a struggle on game four, but they figured out that they made that one a win. That toughness in the carry out was the perfect way to make the end game work. Because if this offense is really putting up a lot of struggling, they really are trying to make that continue and put it right toward the offense goal in the line. They're not really trying to make it clear. But all that does happen now, they're always going to make that one clear to put it up right away. They really are stowing off like they did. But sometimes, however, the goaltenders have got a great defensive saves. They're trying to make an attacking work. Here's Kaprizov. He will take it over right toward the corner. And Minnesota is back on the other end to take on the attack. Trying to leave it over to Hartman. Fires it around the net. Toes has got it. Oh, that big bubble down on the wild attack. Middleton back over to Kaprizov. Points on man. Just blocked up in front. We're going to give Kaprizov. Save again by Giorgiev. Then Giorgiev really saw that. After a block, that goes right toward the chest. You can almost get hit by the helmet. Got to be easier that way if the score settles in. Gossesson's going to hold it with the puck of only 17.29 to go in the second period. Nearing a late go into this frame, still no score in this game as we started the second period already. Now Sporgin will take it over. Middleton right over to Eriksson finds Balegdo. Balegdo gets caught up in the neutral zone. Here he comes right to and gives it to Copper. Copper shot! Rebound in front of him and stop again by Gustafsson. Matthew Boldy right into the right way. Passes over again to Spurgeon. Spurgeon in the backhand. Release the bar save. Colorado Avs are putting up another offense run to pick up another slot. Runs it in the corner. Cover shot. Rebound again and stop by Gustafsson. Right again, over to the Minnesota offense zone to their zone. Holy! Fire and a close save by Georgia. That good, gorgeous move. This offense is putting him right toward in the middle. This slide, it's going to get very that close call if they're going to try to like keep the answer it and alive it again. They're trying to make that one clear. They're just going all over it. Gets bumped down as the puck escapes this, the entry zone. No penalty call on Colorado as Dumbo will take it over to Spurt Sunquist. Kudrow's got the puck, now finds Nyquist. Nyquist lost the puck. Sunquist recovers it. The backhand shot went too up, too hard, and went wide up and in the, into the glass. By way, right towards in the, in the right way. Goes up with the glass and right around the net. Broden, try to give it over. O'Connor back to Eller. Chura to Colagno. Nyquist got it down, right toward in the offensive wing. Over again to Guterru. Fires in the airway to take a deliberation. Over to Byron. Skipping a loose puck. Nyquist with the puck. And a penalty call! They finally answered it! It's going to be a slash and Gerard's in the penalty box. Well, there you have it. Because right now, the Wilds are going to take their offense run and put it right on the attacking slot in their zone. Right now, the first power play is on for the Wilds. That's right now, with only 14.09 to go, no score this game. Erzinek wins the faceoff. Capriza shoots it up and right into the net, and that's how we play. Now reaching in to make that one a shot. Now they need to set it up and be ready for the faceoff as the power play continues. The Hunkinen. They code in right over again. And Addison back to Kaprizov over again to Ericsson Eck. Now back in the half zone. Zuccarello! Blocked away by Toes. Makar in struggle. Trying to look for the puck loose. Back over to Zuccarello to Kaprizov. Look, Kodin's got it away. Lokanen firing around the net. Minnesota will face the offense zone to pick up a restart. Here's Zuccarello. On the attack, finds out net. Short! Saw it by Giorgio. He's going to hold it up here with only 13.05 to go in the second period. No score this game yet. 
There are a lot of momentum out there. They're trying to look for the offense to try to pick up the win in the offense zone in between the apps or the wilds. Caprice off shot stop made. Nato fires it up and goes right into the crowd and we call a delay to the game. Well, that's not good because it's now a five on three. Now two players are in a penalty box. They're going to get having a tough time. And yep, this is where we have never called it a delayed game for Nido. Yep, he fired that one out there too soon. Now the extra man is on as three players are on the ring. Only one player will go out and the other player will stay in the penalty box. Now Palagno. In the range! Caprice off shot! Jurgen say! 12.45 remain. Try to look for the Goldberg answer for the Avalanche. No, for the Wilds. But the Avalanche may have been improving yet to try to take them out of here. Now with the win, Addison. Caprice off shot! Soft made by Jurgen. A slot and the in. They're just trying to like make that one quick. They're trying to like block it away. They don't want that one to come in right away. If they do, then they're going to need to try to make that one quick. The answer is going to be very that tough to try to hit him out of here. Hot battle in for the loose spot. 20 seconds for the 5 on 3 advantage. Lifts it up in the air. He's almost ready to join the play. Now the extra skater is on, as right now the power play continues for the Minnesota Wilds. Drew out alone! Moving around again. Cobra shot! Oh, Gustafson for a big save! Free at beating the power play goal. Almost going to turn to be a short-handed goal. Yeah, that's pretty that close. But I guess that did turn out very that hard. This offense is picking up another great run. An attacker, they never saw that one going. But and stopped by Edison. Now back to Hartman. Move around to play in the middle. And close save by Georgia. 11.34 to go in the second period. Still trying to get an answer right away before the power play is over. Now the teams are set about to take the face off in the offensive way. Now Colorado wins the face off. Gets body down. Kaprizov, pass again to Boldy. Now Zuccarello will have their offense to pick up a run back again, and Boldy carries offside. Too far for the range of the blue line, has to be that close in the neutral zone to fix it up again. Well, they sure do, because if they were going to a little too far, then they're going to need to try to fix that one again. They don't want to get anybody open. He's ready to join the play in. Back to Zuccarello. The Wilds fails to put a power play, as right now the power play has already been expired. They're tough now because Colorado was saying that we can't lose the man, advantage. We have to stop him inbounding. Jurgen, this is what we have to do. In order to make that one play in this offense, you've got to try to stay the puck inbounding. You can't let the other player to get around you. You've got to make that clear to succeed. And stop again by Jurgen. McCall with the puck right into the wing in the offensive zone. McCall recovers it, almost lost the puck. Now moving in. Backhand shot and stopped by Caprizov. Now gives it Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck lost it away and Conquer gives it back to Gerard. We're into then right on the moving inbound. Gets broken up. Addison with the puck. Around in the back of the net. Passes over to Caprizov. Pass to Erickson Eck. Over to Boldy. Boldy right toward the right wing. Copper take it over with the puck. Now finds Nido. Back to Addison. He now gives it over into the offense zone. Boldy, open man. Caprizov would have given him a pot shot, but it was blocked up. Minnesota on the attacking zone, now ready to pick up their shifts for Caprizov. Caprizov, and he gets blocked up by Byron. O'Connor right toward again to Colagnale. 
Hugliano lost the puck and Kaprizov will try to take it from here. Kick it away. Oh, with the puck. Moves it in front. Corner. Stop again by the goaltender. And Addison takes the puck away on the offense zone. Seven minutes to go in the second period. Johnson with the puck. Trying to get over for the other side of it. Oh, Bingle down! Wow, this is a wild offensive run. They're trying to move it right toward in the offense. They're very that tough. Can you just say that it is a tough one to try to tackle it instead of hurting someone? And another shot that goes right off the wall and they go back to Hunt. Colano! Shot is off again. And wild wow, putting it up a huge fight. Spurs it back to Guru. Guru trying to move it in. Off to blind quest shot. Rebound and Georgiev save. Oh my goodness. Georgiev is really like putting an impressive run. They're just trying to like get away from it. Now we're back in the now. No score in the first second period as they're trying to look for the win to get up with the goal. The Churchkin gives it over to Hunt. Hunt in the middle, now in, we're in the slot. McKinnon! Gets slagged up, and Middleton right back to Spurgeon. Spurgeon to Gutero. Under five minutes to go in the second period. Looking for a stop shot. That goes off the defender, and McKinnon right over into the middle of the wing. Funny man opener! Stop again by Gustafson, and Spurgeon back to Sunvest. Some of us in the team are trying to look for their way to make an answer back. Still in his own, Middleton. Some best. And a penalty, penalty call. This will be a hooking of a slash. Now the power plays on again. The Conan cannot be deniable to try to take over from him. And this one put up another slash. It's going to be a very tough one to try to stop the run in bounding over and under. Power plays on for the Colorado as the penalty is already regained and Minnesota getting ready to go for another power play attack. Gooders wants the face off. Oh no! Oh that one time shot stopped again by Jogiev showed up in no time. They're just rolling it again. They're just trying to battle it out. In between attackers they're not really that far, far important. But they really are getting away with that one. Eller, pass to the car with the face-off win. The puck leaves the zone. 345 remaining in the second period, and Guru Eller! Good stop here by Gustafson. No short-handed goals. Pollock, though, right over into the wing. What the fire shot! Stop by Julia. 324 to go in the second period. Still no score this game. Now they're looking for another offense to try to pick up the run. Still no score today, and there needs somebody else to get right through it. Marcar wins the faceoff. You'll dish it out right into their zone. Minnesota getting ready for the number attack. Pollock now over again to Gurua. It's Gurua right towards the wing. Klingberg up. That's blocked up in front of it by Marcar. You could tell that the, that the player was already abounding. If Bacaro is going to block that one in there, he's going to try to deliver it and send it over to the other man. They're trying to get it over us and done. Oh, no short game goals for that Colorado Avs. This still can play continues. Spurgeon, their time is running down to just 10 seconds. Harvey back to Fogdale. It's blocked. He's ready to join the play. Wilds unable to connect as they had failed for the second time in the power play. The moment keeps on happening. They are very, very that good. They're trying to get a short-handed goal for the Avalanche. They did not see to do it with bite the ducks. They really are trying to make a move. They're trying to put a slap out of it. They just really can't believe it that they were going to do it again. Spurgeon shot! Had it up at the save by Jorgen. Take the pass over to Eller. Nearing the final minute in the second period, still no score in the game, and the stop by Gustafson. They're trying to get a goal right away before the third period. Now they're ready to do this one again. 
Still no score in the game. Under one minute to go. Antoinette wins the face up and Broden on the attack to Dunbar. Boldy's got it across. Right into the neutral zone in the offense zone. Boldy passes for let go. To answer back, rebound it and stop at your wide. O'Connor right toward the other way. With a slot. Stop again by Gustafson. He's going to hop in for the whistle with just coming down to 12 points seconds. 12 seconds. Now open a face off in the offense zone, picking up their run ahead. Gladiator set, about to drop it off. Minnesota wins the face off. Paul Agno will move it around from here. Gives it to Baldy. And he will lift it up for this corner of the inside. That will end the second period. No goals in the game. Solid for now in the second period until the third period for the answer. Be right back. Hey everybody, it is a very close game right now. No score in between Colorado and Minnesota. But well, one quick announcement right now, the Colorado Avalanche might be looking for another way to make this up for the win to face against the Kraken. So if we see a loss in the first round against the, against the wild card team, they're looking to get a, to get a win out of it. But as right now, the upcoming game and for next week, as we will be seeing the next one coming in, that will be the Hurricanes and the Bruins happening here for this week here on Thursday also. This one of the game will happen to be the last one and be in between before the Western Conference, before the Eastern Conference of the Celtics and the other team as they will get a double header to you ready for tonight. In between the zone of the attackers, it will be the Celtics and the Cavaliers for the double header of night. As they will change it up right into the ice, into, into basketball court. So that will being said, Boston, Bruins, and the Hurricanes will be the first one to be taking over at 12 p.m. Following along with another game, no, sorry, 3, 3 p.m. will be the start for it. And then 7 p.m. will be the Celtics and the Cavaliers. That will be the second doubleheader here back in Boston. And then the other side of it now, as right now Saturday primetime's game will be Lakers and the Nuggets at Mile High. That will be the next one coming in, as we haven't seen them playing it since last season of the 2K22. But let's find out how will they do. Now we ended off here for the third period. Still no update for the, the deals, as right now it's currently being delayed. Because right now, I have a little hard time just trying to figure it out here. A little scheduling of time. I still got to get right into this work. But uh, hopefully, we'll get back into this one there soon. I promise you I'll be fine. Anyway, time to get back into this one. Me phone, guys, all yours. Enjoy your final period, and I'll be back with the postgame show. It's that time. The third period about to begin at XL Energy Center. Here we go, the puck is trapped, and we're underway. Along with me and my OJ broadcasting, my partner, along with me, Phone 4, we'll take a look at how the summation statistics come up in the second period. This part of it was a very tough inbounding. This matchup was very that tough. You can definitely tell that by only the players that were getting a little bit hydrated out there were turning to be a lot of energy flow. They were moving it very quickly. This offense is putting up a lot of the hardness and the, and the pressure. But think about this. They've already been showing it off like a dick. A lot of great at passing in this offense is turning out there very great. But as you may have already have noticed, they're really that tough. And always that strong to keep that one out there. Hopefully by then, there might be someone else that could take the goal and put it away. Minnesota under the offense zone. In the goal zone. Clumped in St. B by Georgiev. He's doing really well with the offense. He's already like putting out the pressure. Keeping it strong and mighty out there and doing it really well. Yep, definitely is. We're still early at the stages of this period. Still no score in this game in the in the third period. As right now, two periods already went remain silent. Now McCarr over again to McKinnon. McKinnon with the move. That's a bad save here by, by Gustafsson. Spurgeon carries over to Middleton. Caprizov's on the offensive wing. Passes to Zuccarello. One-timer stop. Nice off the pad by Jorgen. 
Here's Middleton passing a fire and along the way. Zuccarello behind the net. And one timer by Choppy Stark. That's right now, Giorgi it. Holds it with the puck with 17.28 to go. Still lots of time left in this period. The frame of this one still releases its being zeros. No score this game. Now for the win. Here's Spurgeon. Spurgeon to Middleton. Releases the flag though. Rebound and stop. Oh man, what a play by Georgiev. Larkin right over to McKinnon. McKinnon shot. That, that's up at the save by the goaltender. Flag though. Back to McCarr. McCarr in it. Gossison got a good start here to head up a save. Only 16.35 remaining in the third period. Lots of time in this spirit frame of this period. Still no score in this game. As right now, the next one coming up as we will be seeing the Western Conference Finals and the Eastern Conference Finals as we're about to be seeing the Bruins and the Hurricanes. That'll be the next game here coming up here on Saturday's game to get it started off. And then Sunday's game we have is the Western Conference game of this matchup. After they put up a win in between for the Colorado, they will be facing against the Seattle Kraken right here on Sun and Peace. And for tomorrow night, we start with the first game of the Eastern Conference NBA, the Celtics and the Cavaliers. Following along with another game of Saturday night's primetime game, that will be the Lakers and Nuggets at Mile High. This first set's going to be a lot that challenging, and you know, they're really that tough. Players are set. About to take the face off here in the offensive zone. Now here's the win as they are putting it up with a with stroke. Here's Boldy right towards the wing. Fires it across and it's stopped by Nida. Boldy recovers it. Turn it up in the middle. Right on the goaltender. That's off the defender and Byram and Gerard gives back to Rand today. Colorado racing it over into the offense zone in the way. Broden passes the Dumbo to Goru. Now he moves it towards the inside. Cognio. Cognio right into the way. In the inbound of O'Connor. That chopped up and Gustafson puts the save back to Broden. Cognio. That stop is save again. Shoots it again and it's Broden with a block shot. Dumbo right into the middle. Nyquist right towards the, right the left slot. Pagliano has the puck. Songus right into the offense zone. Bad to keep the way here by Giorgia. He has bigger the way right down in their offensive zone to pick up the run. Pagliano almost lost the puck. O'Connor recovers it over again. Pass diagonally to Pagliano. McKenna lost it. Songvets right towards the puck. Fires it around the net. Jurats got it across in the corner. Kicked it away. McCarr with the puck and now into the offense zone. Moving around in between. With attack to McCarr. Lost that one here. But back to Caprizo. Caprizo was a Gorillo. Kicked away. Oh my goodness, that was close. He would have been almost kept picking pick, pick the inbound out there. If he loses that one, they're going to have to get that one a goal. But the good thing is, they kept it out and doing it really well. Back to the offense now, it's Addison will pick it up. The church game. Going to deliver it. And I will stop here by Gustafson with only 11 20, 20 to go in the third. Right now, officials are getting set here on ice. They return us here for the BFDI. The new episode will be coming soon before we head into the show at Sabian Media Center and finally at a new location at Gerald W. Lynch Theater for the BFDI and NMX and Experience. You'll find us here as, as the floor intro, intro of showing the exit interview. That'll be the next one to keep an eye on here. It's, it's already been delayed, but still coming soon. We'll be paintbrushed. So if you have any questions out there, you could leave that one a comment in the box below to find out which one you will take. It's very not tough questions out there, but they may not select on you 
unless you have an appropriate question that you're all taking from here. Every episode, it might be just good. But please note though that inflammatory or spam comments will not be read. Gustafson puts up a save here right towards it in front of the inbounding. During the mid period of this frame, still no score. Looking for a win to take in Colorado or Minnesota. The car goes down! Following along, Gustafson's going to hold it with only 10 14 to go in the third. They seem like a little rumbling down out there. A lot of wrestling towards it, right toward the ground. They're not going to be able to try to stop them if you know how to like try to save them all. Cobber wins the puck. Hard shot! Don't stop by Gustafson! What a save! The Wild will regain their offense now. Back to Corbin. Hartman towards the right wing. Lost the puck. Johnson back to Boldy. Boldy to Hartman. Short stop by Jurgen. He's already been showing up like he does it before. Now past the midway period of the mark. It is still a no score this game. They're looking for his offense. They're trying to like keep it out of the range sight. But they never really wanted to get over this and right under it. They need somebody to get right into that. Big stop again by Akriyorgian. Third time stop. Johnson tried to roll it out. They offend it right back to Naito. Naito. Spurgeon tried to carry it over. Good play on Ian Polchek. Back to Erickson at now he moves right toward it in the center. Oh, no shot! Jorgen rips the save and with the club and with only 8.30 to go. They're trying to get that offense right there. They really need somebody else to try to pick up the attack and then go right from here. They don't have anybody. We may not be finding out if there was another choice in the option that they're going to try and like take him over. And Hunt will take from here. Passes to Johnson. Johnson right over again on the other side. Breaks down! What a wild collision! Oh man, he's like slow and he's having a little tough time out there. He could be out. Move around the puck! Spurgeon shots blocked. Back to Fogno. Fogno! Sloppy shot and they will have to regroup here with the offense zone for the Colorado. Here's the attacker! Rebound and save! Maljan right towards near the net. Pass broken up. Minnesota. Back into the offense zone. No penalty call. Rebounded it. And Muldrin takes it back. The Avs now working their way right towards across the line. And we got a penalty. Now this one's going to be a gruffing on a slash for Middleton. Yeah, his frustration is going to be a very tight miss. Joe, Jacob Middleton has already been clean here on first and second period, but the third period, he got him slashed. And right now, here we come is ranting it as fans stands by. Ranting's take to take feed zone ability is pretty up a lot of an excellent on the fence. But the moment he finds a look in the open offense, he tries to make a pass and then give it to someone else. Let's find out if Ranting gets that one to take to take feed. Fun to power play this game. Back to you. Like with it right over into the right wing. Trying to look for the pass. Oh, the puck escapes, and that is a failure before they start. Drawing it back to toes, and now they will reset it across with only six minutes to go. The Chushkin shot! It's blocked by Dumba! Dumba got a really good piece of that one here to try to keep it out. And back to toes. They really are just showing it off, they did. And there they go, they're gonna get another slash call. This now calls for a five on three. Ghost of Knife Quest. As right now, they are just gonna make that one clear. They are not getting very good at it. Well, they're trying to like reach it, trying to take the puck away. But the players, they're always keeping it out of trouble out there. Not really turning out great. The Yavs now have their five on three advantage. And right now, they're about to take it over. Spurgeon fires across. McCann re recovers it and now Comfort will take it over. Here's Nuga. Shot 
Right now, oh man, that's a good stop and save. Conger with the angle, walked away. Back again to McKinnon. What a good shot. Gustafson got a hold on that one. And almost would have been in trouble to make that one back. Still a lot of time left to go in this frame. Still no score. They're looking for a power play to try to pick up a 1 0 for Colorado or Minnesota. Now Klingberg will have its Spurgeon take over and fire it up. They're ready to go back on 5 on 4. Moves the puck quickly over to McKinney. Now the man is back on ice. Down to a 5 and 4 for the power play start. McKinney to New York. Shot stopped again by Gustafson. McCarr over again to Rodriguez. With the shot. Shots him down. They are just pulling him back. This offense is like trying to like keep him out of here. All along, they never really caught on. McCarr has it back again. 20 seconds for the power play, and the time is winding down. New look passes to McKinnon. With a shot, it goes off a defender to skate. He's ready to join in the play. And he has failed to make the power play goal, as now it changes back to a full strength. The strength turns him out. What a great play for the hustle for Gustafsson. We're really putting up an offensive grind. But this offense is putting up a very tightness in the battle. The range seems to be very important, but it may not be enough to try to like keep him out of here. But as you may have already known, it can be very that tough to try to keep him out. Erickson Act! No penalty call on Colorado. Now Quest battling for the puck here for the loose puck. The breeze off! Erickson Act lost the puck. Colorado back over into the offense zone. Now McKinnon will take it over again to Comfort. Passes to Duco. Run away, way into the middle. And he scores! Oh my goodness, Alex Newcomb delivers it! They are now kicking in to end the third period of Game 5. They are hustling and bounding, and you know how Nathan McKinnon was given off to Alex Newcomb. With that shot, it was too close, but that close range was definitely tight. That is what everyone was calling for. Newcomb? with a better play into this angle. That is a toughness to make that battle inbound. Nido back to McCarr. Passes the right to there and now right into the middle. In a slot! Stop by Gustafson. He's gonna hold that one for a hopping whistle with only 134 to go. They still have some time to get it inbounding. Now we got a good call here as Nathan McKinnon stands by. Nathan McKinnon has gotten a great feed. He's got a great hustle and bounding, and he's all in his hands. He's looking for his team to get into the Western Conference Finals to face against the Wild Card team. They are very good, and I have to tell them, he's unbelievable, like an, a hard range attacker. It's a toughness that you can call for. We're down to a minute to go. Oh, that went right behind the net. Lacune. Stopping inbound, Zuccarella passes to Kaprizov. They're looking for an extra skater and goes down. Mikar has it up. 42 seconds left to go. Toes with it now. Pass to McKinnon. McKinnon back to Lakota. Shot stopped by Gustafson. They're really out of attack. It looks like the number third seed. The, the third seed may be advancing to the conference finals. And looks like they're just going to make that one clear. Out of every goal in the period of shots, it's a one nothing lead for Colorado Rams. Broden back to Dumba. Dumba went slightly down towards the angle. And Broden back to Dumba. The offenses are getting a little bit tired out there. Now they're bringing the extra skater on. Well, he's falling. No! And went wide. Rebound again. Bogdo shot. Lost it. Try to pick up an inbounding. Gerard and the team are going to make that one a win. Well, they're very tough. Good night, Minnesota, and stay hibernated. And that will do it. The Avs move on to the conference finals to face against the Kraken back at Ball Arena Mile High. They're very a tough one to be out here all night. We all say this was the toughest game that they always say. 
Silent for first and second period, but not for free. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the Western Conference fight, the semifinals. And as we're being said, we'll see you again for the next game. I'm OJ, along with me, Friday Fan. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Time for three star plays of the game. Peace, all yours. All right, thank you so much. As right now, we kick it in to the third star. Alex Newgrove got that goal, making it up and right towards it from the net. And that was his only goal that he has made. And then the two goalies, Philip Gustafson with 50 saves, 0.980 percentage of his saving ability, and the first star goes to Alexander Georgiev with 49 saves. He is perfect. On this run, it turned out the best. All hands for Alexander Georgiev. Here's how they did with the total statistics of the game in Game 5. 51 shots on goal for Colorado and 49 for Minnesota. 14 hits for Minnesota and 11 for Colorado. Then 625 for Colorado time on attack and 535 Minnesota time on attack. 91 to 85 percentage of this of the passing really turning out just really well. And then 25, 25 face-off wins for Minnesota over 22 for Colorado. Six minute penalty kill was turning to be Colorado and four minute penalty kill for Minnesota. No power play goals. And it was 513 and 304 in between the two. Well, I guess that's it. The second round has been completed, and right now we are on our way to the conference finals for the championship of the Stanley Cup. That will be the next one to be, be in as we take your eye sneak here. As right now, Sunday will be Minnesota out of here and Colorado facing against Seattle on Sunday at 5 p.m. I'm following along right now with the Saturday primetime edition here. We got the, Col the Carolina Hurricanes battling against the Boston Bruins. That will be the next part of the game here after the basketball game in between the, the Celtics and, you know what I'm calling for, Cavaliers. So that one, I hope everybody's enjoying your day and the summer is getting very, very close. I'm sorry about the deals, but... It's going to be a little bit changing. It's going to be held back on June 10th at this moment. And then probably on that occasion, probably June 5th. I'm not even sure what will happen, but uh, well, I'll let you know just in case. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on the A Sports style. This is Senate Beast, and have a great night. We'll see you all later for the next part of the game as a start of the Western Conference and Eastern Conference of the Stanley Cup Conference Finals. See you all next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.